as time goes on, people, although they really want to use um, analog tape, two-inch tape to record, a lot of people don't have the resources to pay for it. It's very expensive now. And a lot of people don't have the patience to work in that medium. And they don't have the, um, the skill, the skill set to work in that medium. So inevitably, if you want to stay in business and be competitive, you, you have to have some sort of uh, line into uh, digital interfaces. And for almost everyone, that's Pro Tools. And Pro Tools has been uh, probably, I think, as, 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 as it goes on, history will show us that Pro Tools was one of the most influential inventions on music making and music production almost uh, maybe ever because I don't think to date there's ever been a piece of technology that could actually strip the emotion out of a musical performance as effectively as Pro Tools if you let it. It's a very powerful tool and I think that people rely on it too heavily to uh, to make their message rather than have the passion and the talent of their ability and their musicianship to do that and um, it's uh, it's unfortunate but it seems to be a necessary evil these days that you really have to be able to um, almost manufacture performances for folks. Uh, fortunately for us, we try not to do that at all. Generally, we don't, but it's out there. And um, where you really see that, the effect of that is when you go to see a live performance and you hear this record, you buy this record, and, and it sounds amazing. It sounds huge, everything's perfect. And then you go to see the live performance, and it's like, eh. And that's because you're dealing with a record that was manufactured rather than played from the heart. We try to do stuff from the heart here, but um, you know that sometimes that's a real hard goal to maintain.